discerning shooters here for Blue Collar Prepping Network. And you know, part of being frugal is not only with our money, but our time, is also with, let's say, pocket space. You know, a big trend here lately is to carry tourniquets and other medical supplies on their person for your everyday carry. And as that progresses along, you run out of pocket space and, you know, aside from the significant financial investment, you're kind of like, what am I going to do? Now we have, you know, ankle holsters for medical kits and things like that, which is all fine and good and it's great. I'm trying, not saying that it isn't. It's good to be prepared. Having said that, I kind of play the odds a little bit myself. I don't carry a tourniquet generally. Though in my everyday bag, I do have a Sharpie and some electrical tape, and we'll do a video on that later on so it's a little more clear. But one thing that I do have that I carry in my back pocket that fits my back pocket is this medical kit. Now, I know you can't really tell who makes it or what it is because we have strips of duct tape on both sides, and I'll explain that in a second. It is a TAC Med kit from, do, 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 I'll tell you in a second, traumapacks.com. There is an 800 number here on the back of it. Now, granted, this is a fairly old, I don't know if you can see that. This is a fairly older medical kit. It's just, it's impregnated with quick clot. There's a quick clot sponge in it. This is fairly older. I forget what the price point on it is. I probably had it for 10 years, though it is hermetically sealed and steel is still good, so I'll take my chances. It is for me. Duct tape. The great thing about this is, because of the nature of its packaging, is that I can also make two chest seals out of it. Well, how do I do that? Well, I open it, and I split it right down the seams. I got four pieces of duct tape. Sorry about the glare, folks. I have dog eared, so you grab one, grab another, grab another, grab another. So you can seal on one side, and I have four pieces on the other side. Actually, three pieces. One piece to hold them and three pieces to pull off. So, fits in my back pocket, fits in a cargo shorts pocket. I generally carry it in my back pocket. I don't want them working or what have you, or wearing dress pants. It's very, very convenient, and it's actually a good way in my back pocket to hold my little tactical flashlight you've seen in earlier posts in position. So, also in the sake of doing less, more with less rather, carrying less, being frugal in my pocket space, is another little tool that I carry. A lot of people carry multi-tools. Now I have them in my get home bag, my everyday carry bag, which I don't carry so much in the summertime. We'll do another post on that one later on. And you know, in my car, everywhere. However, on my pocket, on my belt, in some of the environments that I work in, it's not really convenient or it's appropriate. And there's only so much space there. And my back can only take so much. So I have one of these wonderful little things. It's from Columbia, Columbia River Knife Tools. And it is the Kurt. Let me see if you can see that right in there. See that? That's like $9. All kinds of tools, oxygen, you know, for mixing oxygen wrench, a little hex here, screwdriver. I use it quite often to open boxes with, just through the pressure of the flat tip. And a seat belt cutter. I have this on my set of key rings. I keep my car key rings separate from my house keys. Easier to carry. Also, if somebody really wants my car that bad, there you go. Again, that's a post for another time. But I can take my seat belt cutter here and my hermetically sealed pouch for my individual blowout kit here. Individual first aid, you know, gunshot wound kit. And I can make two chest seals, lickety split. So, a little bit less. Don't have shears. Don't have a tourniquet, don't have a bunch, I have razor bandages and a couple of chest seals. I have one quick lot sponge, field dressing bandage. Granted, it's an older one. In a package, it'll create two chest seals with an addition of duct tape and this, fan, this fancy little Kurt tool from Columbia River Knife and Tools. So anyway, being frugal with your pocket space and your, <laughs> your back. So this is the discerning shootus. Be good, be safe. Can't be safe, be good and dangerous for blue collar prepping.